Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Power Toys app rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And Power Toys um, can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store and the latest version now, version 0 0.73.0, which rolled out just a couple of hours ago. Now, this latest release includes five key highlights, and the first of which is we get a brand new utility called Crop and Lock which allows you to crop a current application into a smaller window or just create a thumbnail. Uh, it also reads you can focus the target window and press the, the shortcut to start cropping. Now, once the feature is turned on and the utility is enabled, we get two activation modes. First of all, thumbnail shortcut and second, reparent shortcut. Now, I'm going to start with the second mode because um, my screen recorder likes that a lot better. And using the Windows Control Shift and R key, we can now crop that little image or any image uh, on your device or any part of your desktop. And there we go. That's reparent shortcut. And we can minimize that. The maximize button is grayed out. And obviously, we can close that out looking very much like a thumbnail. Now, heading back to the first, which I think would be used by most users, called thumbnail shortcut, which says shortcut to crop and create a thumbnail of another window. So this time, using the Windows Control Shift and T key, just using the little image as an example, I'm going to crop that into a thumbnail shortcut. And here we can see looking very much like a thumbnail, which I think is a nice move. We can minimize that once again. And this time we have a maximize uh, toggle. And obviously we can close that out. And that's the new crop and lock, which allows you to crop a current application into a smaller window or just create a thumbnail. Now moving on to the next key highlight, it's regarding the keyboard manager. And uh, previously with the keyboard manager, and bound hotkeys would only react to non-numpad keys. Now I think this is a nice move. The keyboard manager now supports your numpad. So you can now use your numpad uh, with the keyboard manager utility, which lets you reconfigure your keyboard by remapping keys and shortcuts. So keyboard manager now supports numpad. Moving on to the third one, and this is regarding fancy zones, which um, lets you create window layouts to help make a multitasking easy. And fancy zones is very similar to the snap layout and snap assist we get with Windows 11 as an example. And what they've done with fancy zones, um, fancy zones, gets code improvements and refactor. So a bit of under the hood uh, improvements rolling out with fancy zones. And then one utility I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis, the image resizer. And I almost use this on a daily basis. It has received a modernized image resizer user interface. So they've um, modernized the user interface for image resizer. So just to demonstrate, if I head over to an image, and I right click image resizer is found in the right click context menu as part of Power Toys. And this UX now, the UR, has received a bit of a modernization, so to speak. And it now matches the look and feel of Windows 11, a lot more rounded corners. And the UX, as mentioned, has received a bit of a revamp, as they are calling a modernized image resizer UX, which I actually think is another nice move because I use the image resizer utility almost on a daily basis. And then the uh, fifth and final key highlight is uh, regarding Power Rename. And Power Rename was a utility that rolled out um, a couple of months ago, which is a Windows shell extension for more advanced bulk renaming using search and replace or regular expressions. And Power Rename um, gets advanced counter functionality now. So if you are using Power Rename, there's another um, kind of under the hood improvement with advanced counter functionality. And then just a general kind of fix to mention for the purpose of this video, they fixed crashes caused by invalid settings, which I think is quite a valid, no pun intended, um, fix because um, anything that does crash anything and gets fixed obviously is an important fix. Now, even above that, uh, there are plenty of other improvements and fixes that have rolled out. And you can always just click on the release notes, which will take you over uh, to those release notes and you can go check that out more in depth. So version 0 0.73, as mentioned, rolled out a couple of hours ago and is now our latest release for Power Toys, bringing that brand new utility called Crop and Lock. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.